Okay, this is recording two. Because <laughs> the last one sucked ass last time. Oh, God. It was terrible. Um, okay. I'm going to try reading this story again. Even though I don't want to. Because I just did it. But we're going to do it now. Uh, I had a lot of things to say. But, you know, I'm just going to breeze right towards this. I said what I said again. I don't like to repeat myself again on the story. So we're just going to say it as a script. You know. And it's like an audiobook. You know, you're just going to like it. Okay? We're going to be sitting back go crazy with it. You know? What up? What up? What up? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway. I said we were going to do... The fan fiction of more Ben 10 stuff. I said that. I've already had a video put out. I recorded for the chat for the other chapters for Final Fantasy, the unknown chapter. Uh, part two will come out soon. But now I say we put it in order. I do a Ben 10 thing first. And then I do a... Uh, a segment of the unknown chapter. So, without further ado, <laughs> I'm stealing Aki Dearest's lines. <laughs> okay, let's get right to it, people. Loop. Ben and Julie, dedicated love by Kistora Nefritkin. If I said your name right. <clears throat> Chapter 1, First Kiss At school, during lunch So, you can make an unlimited amount of yourself, Julie asked, taking a bite of her sloppy joe. Julie and Ben were sitting together, eating lunch in the cafeteria. Julie had asked Ben about some of his old aliens from when he was on the Omnitrix at age 10. Well, I could. All of my clones were connected. If something happened to one ditto, it happened to all of us. Ben said, drinking some of his milk. Ben! Someone yelled. Ben and Julie turned their heads to see Gwen. Ben, you have a problem. Um, what is it? Is it DNA aliens? You wish. Come on. Alright. Sorry, Julie. That's fine. You go ahead. Ben and Gwen left the cafeteria. In the hallway. <laughs> in the, That's the... Uh, in the hallway. I'm gonna, I'll say it in a different voice next time. In the hallway! <laughs> More announcing! <laughs> Gwen and Ben were walking through the hall till they came to a, a corner. So, what's so important that you drag me away from Julie? Take a look around the corner, Gwen said. Ben looked around the corner, half expecting to see some sort of alien activity. Instead, he saw a familiar face. A bitch that... And he saw you as a freaking pet instead of a human being. And I hate Omniverse so much when I watch it. Yeah, I'm in the Philippines. <laughs> Kai? Ben said. There. You saw her. Kai. Ben's first crush. And heartbreak. Putting some books in her locker. Fortunately for Ben, she didn't notice Ben pull his head back behind the corner. What is she doing here? Ben said. She just started coming to the school. She was in my fourth period class, Ben said. Did she say anything to you? Ben asked. She kept asking me about you. I think she might like you now. Well, too bad. She only saw me as some 
met before. And anyway, I've got Jumi now. Someone just gave him a weird look and pointed at him. Uh, Glenn? Ben said. Hey, Ben. Kai said. Ben nearly jumped at the sound of Kai. K Kai! Uh, uh hey, g good to see you! <laughs> ben said. Ben. So nice to see you. After so long. Kai said, giving Ben a seductive smile. Uh, uh, uh so. W what are you doing here? Ben asked. Oh, my family moved here, so we'll be able to see each other more often. She said, moving closer to Ben and putting a hand on Ben's shoulder. Gwen was fuming at the sight of what Kai was doing. Or, well, I don't know what class sounds sound like. Oh, uh, class is starting. Sorry. <laughs> Gotta go. Ben said, quickly leaving. Okay. Bye. Kai said, waving. <laughs> After school, out in Kevin's car, at... Why were there two at? Seriously, you should have said after school in Kevin's car. Not at in Kevin's car, sorry. OCD kicking in. <laughs> Kevin was feeling uncomfortable. Gwen looked like she was mad at something, and Ben was drinking more smoothies than usual. What, does he got five cups in there? Wouldn't it be the first? Ben is obsessed with smoothies. Alright. What's going on, you guys? Something wrong? Kevin asked. Some stupid flirt named Kai. That's what's wrong. Gwen said, taking a sip of smoothie. Kai? Kevin asked. I used to have a crush on her. Back when we were ten. She's back, and... Well, she kind of likes me now. Ben said. So, uh, wait. You're afraid you'll lose... Oh, wait, no. I said it wrong. I said it wrong. Back, 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 back. Reverse. Rewind. So. Oh, wait. I get it. You're afraid you'll lose your other girl. Julie, right? There was a loud explosion. Or, as the writer puts it, there was... Owl. Loud explosion. Yeah, I didn't know there was a guy named Owl Loud Explosion. <laughs> and trouble, Ben said. They all drove it into the city. At a, at a jewelry store... In town, the front of the jewelry store had been blown off and was being robbed by three men armed with guns. They chased everyone out of the store and were talking and all the jewels and taking all the jewels. Why did I mess that up twice in two recordings? Seriously. They chased everyone out of the store and were talking. We're taking! You're there, right? <laughs> They were... Fuck! <laughs> they chased everyone out of the store and were taking all the jewels they could. But fortunately, they had a single woman who was running in this register handling them all the money and diamonds the store had in their bags. Come on, lady, hurry up! One man said. Suddenly, his gun was pulled away by a strange pink aura. You like diamonds, huh? Then said as Chroma Stone. Let's see how much you like them when I'm through with you. Uh, crap! It's those guys! One of them said. They started firing their guns at them, but Graham put up a barrier. Hey, damn it, run! One of them said. They started running out through the back door. Gwen and Ben followed. Kevin went to some of the jewels on the counter and became covered in diamonds. Where's Ben and Gwen? Grandma Stone was moving towards one of the robbers. Ah. Uh, 
tried firing his gun at him, but the bullet would deflect all deflect his onto his diamond hard body. You gonna give up? Chroma Stone asked. Never. He said, pulling out a knife, but the knife broke in half when it struck him. My turn, Chroma Stone said as he punched the guy and knocked him out. The other two were firing at Gwen's barrier. <laughs> Could use some help here, Kevin, Gwen said. Got it, he said. He ripped through a small opening through uh, through and knocking He went through a small opening through and knocking out the other robbers. Two robbers? Knocked him out with what? That's weird. Oh well. What can I say? People make mistakes when writing a story. Even I do. I rush and uh when I write a story and then I forget a few words or two in a sentence. What can I say? I get too caught up in the story and then imagine I'm actually already writing it. I guess that happens to a lot of people too. Oh. Well, as he threw something at them and attacked them. Well, that was boring, Kevin said. Come on, we have to take these back, Grumlinson said. Stone said, grabbing one of the bags the robbers took. An hour later. Kevin was driving Ben home, and Grumlinson stopped bugging Kevin about something. Kevin, the fight has been over for an hour. Will you turn back to normal? Kevin was still covered in diamond. No way! I'm worth more than my car now. So what are you going to do? Put yourself on sale? No? I'll cut my hair. Er, or something. And sell it. You're made of diamonds, Kevin. How are you going to cut your hair? I'll figure something out. You're here, Ben. And someone's waiting for you. Ben looked to see Julie waiting for him out on his front yard. Ben got out and walked up to her. Julie, what are you doing here? This is where you put the romantic music, Nehru. Ben said. I saw what you did on the news. And I thought, I just come and say, Hi. She said, putting her arms around him. Ooh, tension. <laughs> I still can't get over the fact that my boyfriend's a hero. She said, moving closer. Well, that's something I don't do every day. And Nothing was up in all tracks. He said, putting his arms around her. It's not just the only tracks. Anyone else could probably use it for themselves. But you. You use it to help people. He said, moving her face closer. You are a hero. She said, suddenly, she placed her lips on them, almost kind of shocked. Sure, he and Julie were boyfriend and girlfriend, but they had never actually kissed before. Well, at least this one was a quicker kiss than fucking Ultimate Alien. Yeah, thank you writers for just cock teasing us with just one kiss, and then breaking them up in the next series, assholes. It was pissing on Ray McDuffie's grave. Sorry, I'm still hating on that. And yet, he sure wasn't complaining, and he started to kiss her back. <coughs> Both Ben and Julie pulled away from each other and saw a snickering Kevin and a mad and a Kevin Gwen. And you can just hear them in the background. No. <laughs> Ow, hey! <laughs> hmm.
Both Ben and Julie's cheeks were red as Kevin sped off. Uh, so I, I'll see you tomorrow? Kevin said still red. Uh, yeah. See ya. Julie said walking away, still feeling embarrassed. They went inside his house. As soon as he closed the door, though, he couldn't help but smile. End of chapter one.